Okay, the only custom room which brings you something different, the Oxino style uh, quick settings panel is now back with the new update as expectedly with the main security patch. And we are talking about Nasintara OS, which is actually one of the best custom rooms right now, only in the terms of UI, not in the terms of stabilization or something like that, because we have many other custom rooms available. And uh, let me clear a doubt with you. This is Nasintara OS version 5.8, officially available for some of the devices. It's not open source custom room, it's private source, so I don't think so. It's unofficially available for any device so far. Moving on to the major changes which we got here in this new update, there are very new things included. Firstly, we have the memory info. So yes, for the users who were actually looking for the RAM consumptions kind of things, you have these options. You can simply check out how much RAM is consumed and how much RAM is free. I don't take these things too seriously, by the way, but if you, then this option is available here for you. But this launcher always gives you some of the features which are already included, like app drawer customizations, recent customizations, and some more things. Moving on to the major changes here. Firstly, wallpapers and style include finally the themed icons options, which means you can use custom themed icons. The default themed icons were not simply very good, but actually with this new update, finally we have extra themed icons options. You can use lawn icons if you want to, you can use any other icon pack if you want to. This is actually very good. But including that, some system icon pack options are already present. You have the fonts customizations, we have the icon shape customizations included. These options are super good and super useful and shall be included in every custom room. And I think so these are available in almost every custom room except some other custom rooms like Pixel Experience. We have fonts customization, many fonts options are available here for you icon shape which you can customize uh, you sometimes use teardrop but other options are kind of really boring so i don't use them actually moving on to the features including uh, these miscellaneous options some major changes include some options related to spoofing you can see unlimited photo storage unlock higher fps in games that's completely fine we have netflix spoof and now we have the spoof all apps the feature which i noticed in rise Troid or maybe rising os whatever you want to talk about this feature is present in nusantara os 2 swipe to screenshot is also present so in the terms of customizations they are finally bringing you a lot of customizations nusantara os was actually one of the the best custom rooms till android 10 or android 11 maybe with android 10 it was super nice but with this new updates android 11 after android 12 or 13 this is not that much up to the expectations you can see you can customize the fonts you can customize the lock screen you can customize the quick setting style which is actually one of the main highlights and the best thing about this one is they didn't remove it at least because sometimes a custom home user some sometimes a custom home developers try something new then they just remove that thing but actually it's there oxygeno style volume panel oxygeno style quick settings panel actually it looks amazing it's finally here and it's working perfectly fine so if you actually need something different then you can try out nosinth os if it is available for your device if it is not unfortunately you can't do anything but if it is available you must give it a try this is a very very interesting custom home in the terms of ui i mean there are many other custom homes available but this nosinth os always brings you something unique and yes that's why i said it's private source so yes no other custom home can simply cherry pick these customizations on their custom homes and most of the custom homes are actually doing same kind of things some theming options already has the home page style which is including this grid and list option which right now you just saw at the starting of the video the settings ui which is already a quite different and quite unique thing but including that theming options we have notification customizations we have the options related to the black blink flashlight we have the options related to lock screen fingerprint battery status bar etc etc so these are things actually available in usantara os if you want to try out as it is mentioned if this is officially available for your device you can try it out i'm testing it in redmi note 11 and i think so it will be available for a redmi note 10 pro or pro max users and some other devices also link for the official website is already available in the description make sure to check out that this is it thanks for watching hope you like this and if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe for more videos like this goodbye